But we want to begin with that breaking news on the Army helicopters that crashed in Kentucky. Officials are now reported expected deaths following the crash of two Army aircraft last night. In a statement, the Army base Fort Campbell said the collision took place during what's being described as a routine training mission near the base around 10 p.m. Wednesday. NBC News correspondent Kathy Park is at Fort Campbell and joins us now with more on this. Kathy, good morning to you. So walk us through what we know about this crash so far. Stephen, good morning to you. So we know that this happened roughly around 10 o'clock last night, and eyewitnesses on the ground say that they saw two helicopters flying extremely low. It was a bit unusual, and then saw an explosion in the sky. As you mentioned, this was a routine training mission that took a tragic turn. We're still waiting to get a little bit more information about what exactly happened. But here's some more from uh, a local state trooper. Take a listen. On March 29th of an aircraft incident here in Trigg County, troopers responded to the area and came across the wreckage of two military Blackhawks. We have been working in conjunction with the United States military to assess this scene. Now, Fort Campbell officials have been pretty tight-lipped about releasing any new information, but we are standing by for an update later on this morning, Stephen. Well, Kathy, has there been any kind of update on the people that were involved in this crash? You know, that that's kind of the big question. And um, right now, all indications uh, seem to point out that there are casualties. Uh, the governor of Kentucky, Andy Bashir, did tweet out this statement saying that fatalities are expected. So that's kind of the information that we have so far. It's still unclear how many crew members were involved. But of course, um, there is supposed to be a press conference in about an hour or so. So hopefully we'll get some more information at that time. We know a lot of people live in that area near Fort Campbell. Do we know if this is affecting any other parts of that community? Stephen, the crash scene is actually about 35 miles northwest of this military base, and we, we took a closer look at this area. Um, not too many homes. It's a rural area. We're told by the state trooper that this happened kind of in a wooded area. Um, the, the debris field is relatively large, but no homes uh, were impacted by this crash. Uh, so we're kind of waiting to see exactly um, if there were any sort of issues that, that came out as a result of this crash, um, but right now, no, no structures, no homes on the ground impacted. A tragic situation and a lot of questions left. Kathy Park, thank you. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.